Hey Prodigy Campers! I've got some games here that I love playing, and maybe you've played some of them too. Stephanie here has never played these games before, so we'll be playing together today. Cool, I love games. I can't wait to get started. What's the first game, Daniel? All right, so for our first game here, we're going to use a table like this. I'm going to roll a die, and whatever number comes up, Stephanie, you'll get to choose whether you put that number under the tens column or the ones column. We'll do six rounds of this and then add up all of the numbers. Your goal is to get as close to 101 as possible without going over. Okay, cool. That sounds like fun. Prodigy Campers, you can play along at home too and see if you can beat my score. You can draw a chart with seven rows and two columns. The row at the top will be labeled tens and ones, just like a mini place value chart. Sounds good to me. Let's get started. I'll roll a die. Three. Okay, so Stephanie and Prodigy Campers, you get to choose whether you put that three under the tens column or the ones column. Okay, so if I put the three in the tens column, my score will be 30. But if I put it in the ones column, my score will be three. And I don't want to go over 101. So I think just to be safe for now, I'll put the three in the ones column, even though either way I'd be fine. What about you, Prodigy Campers? Did you place your three under the tens column or the ones column? Let's keep going and see if that was the best decision. I'll roll again. Okay, so it's a two. And if I place my two in the tens column, my score will be 23. But if I place the two in the ones column, my score will be five. So I think I'm gonna place the two in the tens column just so that I can increase my score and start getting closer to 101. All right, ready to roll again? Let's do I'll it. Go ahead and... One. Okay, Stephanie, what's it gonna be? Tens or ones? I think I'm going to go with the tens column. So my score is 33. 33. What about you, Prodigy Campers? Are you closer to 101 than Stephanie is? Let's roll again. Ooh, okay, it's a five. And I don't know if I wanna put that in the tens column because then I'd be at a score of 83 and that's getting a little bit too close to 101 for my liking, especially considering that we still have two rounds left. So I'm gonna put it in the ones column. Now my total is 38. Yeah, good point. Uh, how are you doing, Prodigy Campers? Hopefully nobody is over 101 yet, but are you getting closer? Are you playing it riskier than Stephanie? Two rounds left, let's roll. Six, that's a big one. What are your options, Stephanie? Six, okay, I'm starting to worry that I'm too far away from 101 with only one roll left. So I think I need to put the six in the tens column. And that would bring my total score to 98. That's cutting it really close. Are you willing to take that risk, Stephanie? You could lose it all. That's very true, but I think I need to go for it. All right, so that brings your total to 98. Ready to roll? We're looking for a one to three. A We're looking for a one, two, or three. Okay, let's roll. And it's oh. a four. Oh no. <laughs> Uh, all right, well, it was worth the risk. I, I'd go over either way, um, but I guess I'll just put it in the ones column. All right, ones column it is. So sorry, Stephanie. Uh, but what about our campers at home? How did you do? Were you able to get close without going over? Okay, can we try this one more time? I feel like I have a different strategy and I really, really, really want to test it out. All right, sounds good to me. Let's do one more round. And I think I'm going to play along too. Just gonna write down my choices. Okay. Ready? Let's do it. First, first roll. Five. Okay. Um, I think I'm gonna start by putting the five in the ones column. And since I'm playing two, let me just write down my choice really quickly. Ready? Let's roll again. Four. Hmm. I think I'm gonna put that in the tens column. 
So now my total is 45. And I'm gonna put in my choice. And so I'm good to roll again. Let's do that. Two. Hmm. Okay, I think I'm gonna put that in the tens column so that my total is 65. All right, halfway there, next round. Another four. Okay, this time I'm going to put that one in the ones column. All right, you still playing along? How are you doing, campers? My score is looking pretty good and I'm ready for the next one. So let's roll. Five. I will put the five in the ones column. All right, last roll. Hope it's a good one. Two. Oh, that's actually perfect. I will put that in the tens column. So my total is 94. No way. I got, I got the same thing. Oh wait. So if you got the same thing, then do we always get the same total since we were using the same dice rolls? Uh, I don't know about that, uh, but I wonder what our campers found. Let us know if you also got 94. Um, yeah. But for now, are you ready for the next game, Stephanie? Definitely. Let's do it. Okay. So, game two. I've got this grid here. It's 10 squares by 10 squares. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll two dice. So I got a six and a two. What happens now is I'm going to create an array that is six squares by two squares and place it anywhere on the grid, like here. The goal of this game is to cover as much of the grid as you can without overlapping any of the other arrays. So go ahead and give it a go, Stephanie. Okay, sounds good. So Prodigy Campers, let's see if we can win this time. I'm just gonna give a roll here. Okay, so I rolled a six and a four. Nice. So now you'll make an array that is six squares by four squares. Okay, can I put it horizontally like this? Yep, that looks great to me. You're fine to place it however you like as long as it doesn't overlap with any of the other arrays. Uh, looks like your team's winning right now, but let's see if I can change that. I'm going to roll. Okay, five and five. It won't fit at the bottom here, so I guess I'll place it a little bit higher, like here. Okay, sounds good. It's our turn. Okay, so we got a five and a three. Luckily, we can still place this. So let's put it over here. All right, back to my turn. I will roll four and five. Well, it looks like this won't be able to fit anywhere on the board. Okay, so what happens next? If I can't take my turn, and then you can't take your turn right after, then the game is over. But if you are able to place your array somewhere, then we go back to playing like normal. Oh, okay. So the game continues until both players miss a turn back to back? Yeah, exactly. So I'm really hoping that your team pulls through for my own sake. All right, let's see what happens here. Okay, so we got two sixes and it doesn't look like we can place this anywhere. So I think that means the game is over, right, Daniel? Yeah, yeah, all right, so the game's over now. Let's tally up our scores and see what we got. Um, my first array was 12 squares, and then I got 25. So that leaves me with a total of 37. Ooh, okay, did we beat that, Prodigy Campers? Let's tally up our score. So our first array was 24 squares, and then we got 15. So that leaves us with a total of 39. 
Uh, just barely too. How'd you find that, Stephanie? That was fun. I really liked that one. Let's try it again to see if you can get your revenge or maybe we're just too tough to beat. Okay, okay. All right, let's reset the board then for the next round. Uh, why don't you go ahead and roll first? Okay, sounds good. Okay, so we got a four and a three. And to start off, let's place the array over here. Okay, my turn. I will roll five and two. Easy peasy. I'll put that right here. Okay, our turn. Oh, interesting. Okay, we got a one and a two. So I'm gonna place it here. And can anyone on my team think of why I put it there? Uh, I have no idea. But okay, I'll go ahead and roll for my turn. Two and three. Okay, sweet. Um, I think that will fit perfectly right here. Nice and snug. Okay, your go. Oh, okay, cool. We got a six and a three. So I think it would be best if we put that right here. Um, okay, so now I have no idea what your strategy is or why you're placing any of that anywhere. I wonder, I wonder if any of the Prodigy campers have an idea. Why do you think it would be good for our team to place it there? Anyways, you're up, Daniel. Okay. Uh, <laughs> five and four. Doesn't look like I'll be able to fit five by four anywhere here. Interesting. Well, it's our turn. We got a three and a two. So let's place that in the middle section right here. Okay, come on. Four and three, seriously? <laughs> if you hadn't just placed that three by two right there, it would have fit perfectly right here. But now I think I missed my turn again. Well, it looks like our strategy is working then. The larger arrays are not going to fit on the board anymore. So let's see what we get. Ooh, awesome. Okay, so we got a one and a five. That is definitely a smaller array, so it still fits. Let's put it right here. All right, let's see if I can get something small too. A roll. You've got to be kidding me. <laughs> six and six, okay, yeah, that's not gonna fit anywhere. Go ahead. All right, let's roll here. Ooh, okay, we got a five and a four. This doesn't fit anywhere. So what does that mean again, Daniel? So because I couldn't take my turn and then you couldn't take your turn, the game's over and we tally everything up. Cool, sounds good. I mean, I think there's a pretty clear winner. Um, but that's okay. That means that we did it, Prodigy Campers. Great job. Okay, I hope you all had fun with this game. I love this one and I was having a lot of fun too until my luck started running out, but you know, that happens. But I don't know, Daniel, are you sure it was luck or was it all about that strategy of your opponent? Maybe, okay. I don't know, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, I've got, I've got one last game for you all. You ready for it? Let's do it. Okay, so what happens with this one is we start off with 10 marbles and then each of us takes turns taking away either one or two of them, your choice. If there aren't any more marbles left for you to take though, you lose. You ready to give it a try, Stephanie? All right, let's just, let's just jump in. All right, great. So we start at 10 and I'm going to take away two. Okay, so there are eight left. I am going to take away one. Cool, I will take away one. I will take away two. 
and I will take away one. Ooh, I will take away two. And I will take away one. Ah, okay. All right, so there's nothing for me to take. I guess that means that you win. Mm. Okay, let's play one more time. I will take away two marbles. Okay. I will also take away two marbles. Hmm. Okay, I'll take away one. And I will take away two marbles. I'll take away one. And I will take away two. Oh no, how are you always winning? Is there a secret strategy or something to always winning? Maybe there is, and I wonder if there is, if our Prodigy Campers can figure out what that strategy is. Well, I hope they do and they can, they can let me know about that. Um, but anyways, that's all the games that we have for today, Prodigy Campers. We really hope that you have lots of fun playing with us. And it's kind of cool because these are quick games that you can continue to play with just a few materials. Yeah, all you really need is some paper, something to write with, and some dice. And actually for that last game, you don't even need any dice. That's true. Thank you so much for joining us.